since there has been some confusion and even misinformation about the FAA's temporary flight restrictions, I should probably explain mm -hmm. how it works. This is a process that has been in place for decades. And basically what happens is uh, if you have a disaster area there's a lot of rescue operations going on. Uh, a, a local airport or fire department or the Coast Guard flying helicopters, somebody like that, can request what's called a TFR. It doesn't shut down the airspace, but it increases the level of coordination that goes on uh, because you want to make sure that that airspace is safe and, and that you prevent the risk of collisions. And so when, when you hear uh, that term, uh, that's what's going on. Again, I don't mean to get that technical, but I've been amazed at how uh, a, a little kernel of some detail uh, gets blown up on the Internet into something mm -hmm. that it's not. And some of what I've seen going on around what the FAA does to coordinate and facilitate rescue flights, uh, including you know a lot of Good Samaritans who are out there as civilians uh, helping uh, because they have pilot's licenses. And that's a great thing. Uh, it's just important that they coordinate and make sure that it's safe.